Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I am up at Lucky Peak Reservoir uh, at Turner Gulch, and I'm gonna kind of uh, spin the camera around here so you can kind of see where I'm at. So I'm at the end of the reservoir, and we are gonna fly up Turner Gulch there. We'll look at the reservoir a little bit, and I'm gonna move around and show you the reservoir, and there's the dam off in the distance, and down below me there is the boat ramp. Usually we're looking at this from the other side of the reservoir, uh, but it's a beautiful day today. It's the end of August. It's about probably 60 degrees or so today. Uh, so anyway, it's a nice day, blue sunny day, blue sky sunny day. Uh, so the other thing I'll add is uh, you may not see this video until December or January or even February, I don't know. Uh, I just wanted to, to uh, fly on some nice sunny days and uh, I can put a video up that time of year and we can remember what the nice sunny days looked like. Uh, but in any case, we're going to look at some interesting things with the uh, Mini 4 Pro and uh, yeah, let's quit messing around uh, and quit all this jibber jabber. Let's get this bird in the air. Okie dokie, looks like we're ready to go here. Uh, let me click on those three dots up in the upper right. Take a quick look at our safety menu, bypass. Everything's where we want it to be. Uh, return to home altitude. Uh, I am gonna crank that up because we are in the, uh, in the mountains here and uh, well, uh, foothills, whatever you wanna call it. And I want to give the drone every opportunity to get over the top of whatever it needs to. And by the way, it would still be legal because it would be less than 400 feet or 120 meters over the top of that. So just want to show you what I'm doing there. And you need to pay attention to that when you're in this kind of territory. So in other words, you inadvertently get blocked by terrain or something and you need to give the drone a chance to be able to come home to you. Uh, so anyway, that's why I did that. Compass is normal. IMU is normal. Uh, battery, of course, that looks good. God, this says cycle count one on that battery. I would, boy, it must not have been using that particular battery. But anyway, uh, enough of that jibber jabber. Uh, let's go ahead. We're in auto in JPEG. So we want to switch to video mode. Video right there and 4k 60 frames per second i like the look of 60 frames per second so that's what we're going to shoot in and we're starting recording now uh let's do an automated takeoff on the app and of course i'll run that guy up uh seven meters to give it a, a good look at its home point here and we'll see if we can get a precision landing there, a little bit above seven meters. Let's bring it back down. Okay, let's spin the drone around and get it looking at us, and we'll do our uh, we'll do our droney out over the lake. And there's some trees right behind us, but you know what? This drone is not going to hit them because it has 360 obstacle avoidance. So uh, let me drop that camera down just a little, uh, and it's looking into the sun. So this won't be the best picture, but we're going to do it anyway. Reverse and up now. Reverse and up. And boy, this thing is a pleasure to fly. And for a mini drone, it is powerful, powerful enough. Uh, and over the top of those trees uh, and out over the uh, Lucky Peak Reservoir. Uh, yeah, let's see, I see we're already down to 94% battery, but that's okay. Kind of uh, getting out there and you can see how dry this is. And that's Turner Gulch right there that we're going to fly up. Uh, uh, but let's turn around here and give you a look at the lake. And that's me dropping the camera again. You can see the uh, the boat ramp, which, by the way, usually is at the top there. Is now, I mean, you can see where the water line typically is in the summertime. And it's way down low there. And you can see where these guys have to go to uh, to put their boats in the water. But there still are a few boats out here. And... Boy, just the lake is just placid smooth right now, or the reservoir, whatever you want to call it. There's the dam. And yeah, what do we got here? I cannot see, is this? You know, I'm just looking at my little FPV screen. 
and just trying to see what this is. That's a it's a weird looking boat if it's a boat. But maybe it is. I don't know. It looks like there's somebody on it. Let's get down there. We can do that. We can get down and get a closer look. We're at negative altitude right now. That's some kind of a sailboat, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on that guy and let's just see what that is. So we're using, we're, we are, uh, yeah, he's got pontoons on there. That is interesting. And there's definitely a sail. Man, you guys that, is that for fishing? You guys are going to have to tell me what all that's about. So we're at maximum zoom, three by zoom right now. Uh, and I don't want to, I don't want to bug that guy. So let's go back out to, uh, to zoom here, <laughs> to, uh, one by zoom. And, uh, looks like he's, he's heading out on the water. Okay. Well, let's head out here a little ways. And there's some things that I want to show you. That was an interesting looking craft. And I, I didn't, it was hard for me to recognize as a boat. And it looks like, is this another sailboat right here? I just don't often see sailboats out here. So let's take a look at this guy and see what we see. That's That sure looks like a mass to me. And and the, uh, the drone is uh, kind of bracketing in on it. I'm dropping in altitude. Yeah, so it, it won't let me drop in altitude as I'm moving forward. So that was the issue that I had before is that it wouldn't let me move forward and drop an altitude. Okay, let's zoom in on this guy. And I think when it, yeah, that's a sailboat all right. Yeah, and I don't know if they're fishing or what they're doing. There's not a lot of wind today, so sailing's got to be kind of tough. Huh, but boy, isn't this beautiful how the, the uh, reflections here, this is really placid and, uh, and looking good. In fact, that is probably a nice picture right there, isn't it? So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I want to get a picture of this. So I'm going to stop recording for a second. And I'm going to hit the picture button. And I assume it took a picture. Uh, but it didn't, you, you know, you didn't get that, that click noise. But uh, anyway, in fact, why don't we, let's just take the opportunity. Well, we have the opportunity here. Uh, Let's go down into a Pano. Pano, if I can get it going here. And we don't want a sphere. Let's do a, uh, let's do a 180, maybe. Yeah, look at that other boat. It's kind of catching up to him. And let's start that right now. So I don't know how that'll look with that other boat moving in the panel here. It'll stitch them all together. This might look pretty good. But you can see what a beautiful day it is and these reflections in the water look awesome. So it's gonna be interesting how it stitches that together with that boat that was definitely moving. So we'll have to see what that looks like. Uh, okay, we're while we're in this mode and it's stitching them together right now, it's at 80%, taking it a couple minutes. And boom, 100%. So let's click on that again, and let's do a uh, let's do a vertical, and take a picture there. That ought to look pretty good. Uh, okay, I'm going to go back into video mode here and get on with uh, the flight that we were starting uh, already. And yes, yeah, 4K60 starting video again. And let's move on down the uh, down the lake here. And one of the things that I wanted to show you is the uh, the Vista Point. And this is a place. In fact, I, I my intention is to fly here later on today. And you can see how low the water is. But let's see if we can get up over the top of this as we get closer. And yeah, there's the Vista Point. 
and that's usually where I park right there. There is nobody there right now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to fly around that spot later on today, so we won't mess around there too long. Uh, but uh, anyway, our intention is to fly up Turner Gulch, so I think we need to get on with doing that. We're at 75% battery. It's just that, uh, wow, here's another great picture right here. I mean, look at the reflections of the clouds in the water. Yeah, i got to stop recording and take a picture here. Photo. And, uh, yeah, let's just take a single shot. And uh, then uh, let's click on that again. Take a bracketed shot. Three. And that'll overexpose, underexpose, and then, you know, you won't, you'll get the, uh, if you put them all together, you get a high dynamic range picture. Okay, back into video mode. I know I'm messing around here, guys, but uh, when you see an opportunity like that, you got to take it. Starting video again. Let's quit messing around. It's time to head up Turner Gulch. Let's go full forward here. And that's that sailboat down there. That was, uh, that one boat was pretty interesting. My goodness, look at the reflection on the, uh, on the lake here. It's really something. In fact, let's, uh, let's throw this guy in sport mode. Let's haul the mail here. Let's get going. So we're back up to 15 meters per second, 16, yep. Full speed, 15.8, not quite 16. I haven't seen it hit 16 yet. There's 16 for just a brief second. And uh, yeah, so uh, remember when you're in sport mode, you don't have any obstacle avoidance. <laughs> so. Heading up, uh, heading up Turner Gulch here. So let's throw it back in normal mode. I want all the obstacle avoidance I can get because we are gonna we're gonna head up uh, up the gulch here and uh, go up the mountain or the hill, or whatever you want to call it. The drone is right in front of me right now. And here we go. So we can get down low. We can get down a little lower here, I think. Yeah, so look at this. This is cool, isn't it? And with obstacle avoidance, you can get pretty close. Now, again. The leaves are gone. Those little branches will get you. So discretion is the better part of valor. Look at those little branches off on that right-hand side. Yeah, that'll get you. So you want to be careful. Uh, but it is uh, it is amazing. Uh, you know, the, the drone will avoid. It'll stay to the side of a lot of this stuff. It gives me a lot more confidence to have the kind of obstacle avoidance that this drone has. That, uh, that I probably wouldn't have made this kind of flight in the past. I wouldn't have been this close to the trees. And in this case, look at those little branches sticking up. We're going to get way above them. And I guarantee you the drone is higher above them than what it looks like in this picture. Uh, but this is a pretty cool shot of the gulch here. There's a hiking trail. I know people hike up here. So we'll go. We'll just keep going up the uh, up the mountain here. I've got a straight shot at it from where I'm at here, so we're going to have really good signal. So we can climb as we go and and stay above the uh, above ground level there. And you know, there's no water in this, but you can see it's it's greener down there in the bottom of the gully because you know when it does rain, that's where the water comes. Yeah, and you can see some trails here. A lot of those could be wildlife. I don't, you know, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if they run any, I don't think they run any sheep up here, but you never know. Or cattle for that matter. Yeah, let's keep moving up. So this is kind of, uh, 
Yeah, look at look at how much we're gaining in altitude here. We started off pretty close, and we're up 80 meters uh, above the ground, uh, above takeoff point now. And we'll just keep climbing. Stopped there for a second. I had a fly land on me, so I had to shake him off. <laughs> Probably more information than what you needed. This is pretty darn cool. Let me pick up the camera a little bit to kind of give you a look at where we're going. <laughs> and we're continuing to rise in altitude. And again, we can we can go above 120 meters because uh, we're not 400 feet above ground level here. So, and in fact, we are right now. We just crossed that. Uh, we crossed that above. Uh, 120 meters above takeoff point, but you know, we're down here in this gully, so there's not going to be any aircraft flying down in here. Max altitude reached. Yeah, so it's telling me, uh, evidently I had, I thought I had my altitude set higher than that. It's saying 150, oh, I, you know what? Because this is in that 150 meter zone, DJI is not going to let me fly any higher than that. I'll be darned. Yeah. And by the way, that 150 meter zone, uh, and the reason it's there is this is on the flyway to the uh, Boise Airport. You'll see airliners coming over the top here. Uh, but that is completely a DJI construct that has nothing to do with FAA regulations or anything. But uh, yeah, I guess we're not going to be able to do that. We're not going to be able to fly all the way. I wanted to fly all the way to the top there, but we're not going to be able to do that. So you can see where we're at. Uh, you can see me just a straight shot down to me. I'm staring right at the drone here. So uh, let's bring it back. And we're at 50% battery. We can drop it down as we come. Let's drop that camera down just a little bit. Give you a good look at uh, Turner Gulch. So many cool places to fly. Uh, I, I feel lucky that I live in an area that's uh, that's got some nice, fun places to fly like this. And we're just dropping as we come down. You know, I wonder if I'd have done a return to home up there. I wonder what altitude it would have stayed at. Uh, you know, it's got optimal return to home. I don't know. That's something to try another time. But uh, anyway, that's, uh, you know, I was kind of hoping we'd see some wildlife or something. It's not, you know, I've got the sun, even the 700 nit screen on this DJI RC2. Uh, it still can be difficult to see all the details. Uh, and, but anyway, I was hoping we would see some wildlife, but uh, haven't done so. So you know what? Uh, we've still got 50% uh, battery. I think we ought to head up this other part. And I don't know. I'm sure there's a name for this gulch, too. But I don't know what it is. But we'll, let's just go up here a ways. So anyway, just to show you what I mean, that was uh, Turner Gulch that we just went up right there. And now we're on the other side. And I may get blocked by terrain here because I, it's, uh, it's difficult to see. So we'll just go up here a little ways. And if we start, uh, if we start having uh, uh, connection issues, we'll just turn around and bring it back. What is this that I'm looking at on the side of the mountain here? I can't even, I can't tell what that is. Let's get in closer and just see. You, you know, those straight lines, it looks like some kind of a construct. What the heck? I'm going to zoom in. Yeah, it's, it's just brush is all it is. But it's in a straight line. Oh, it looks like somebody... Looks like years ago, maybe somebody tried to come down there in a in a truck or something because it almost yeah. Anyway, oh yeah, you know that's exactly what it is. Somebody, this was a uh, I'll bet you uh, 
Years ago, I'll bet you that was a fire line. I bet you there was somebody cutting a fire line through there. That would be my guess. So this looks pretty interesting here, doesn't it? But again, I'm going to get, uh, I, I'm going to pay close attention to my, uh, even though we're on OcuSync 4, I could, I could easily get blocked by terrain here. So we're going to pay close attention. And when we start, uh, when we start losing, uh, yeah, and there went to the yellow for a little bit. Yep, we're going into the yellow, so I, discretion is the better part of valor. I'm going to pick up the camera. We're going to zoom in here to just kind of give you a zoom in look at what's up there. There's the uh, three times zoom, and that's just cropping in on that sensor. Let's bring it back out to one by. And in fact, let's do a, let's do a, a return to home from here, and let's see how the drone handles it. Uh, because, uh, yeah, it may have to come over the top of some stuff. So I'm going to do that uh, on the uh, controller right now. Holding down that button. Return to home. Yeah, okay. So you can see that line, that augmented reality line there. Here she comes. So you can see what I mean. It's kind of coming over the top of the... Uh, the edge of the hill here, but it knows what it's doing. I didn't see how high we were there when I hit that button, but it's at 86 meters. I'll tell you, it's it's only in the 60s, or maybe I think UAV forecast said even in the 50s, but I'm telling you, it feels warm with that sun beating down on you. It's a warm day, so you can see where we're at down there. I'm starting up the Action 2 camera. Make sure we get a picture of that landing. And down we come. There's that little drone. Okay, I'm going to let it drop the camera from here on out. I'm not touching that gimbal. And it'll drop the camera straight down. And it's reducing in altitude now with that optimal return to home. And it's coming down fast. So it should drop the camera down here any second. There it is. And let's see if it hits that. I'm looking where it says the home point is. And it's definitely off from where we took off. So, uh, oh, I don't know. It's moving around. Look at that. It found it. Uh, it's trying. It's a little bit off. It's right next to my truck there. You're gonna see that on the uh, on the Action 2 camera. In fact, I'm gonna turn it. Make sure you see it. And you can see it's a little bit off of the pad there, uh, but not too bad. Hey, okay. Let me get everything shut down, and we'll do a quick conclusion. The Mini 4 Pro. What a fun little drone. Uh, so we did some different exploring here today. Uh, what a great day to look at the reservoir. I got a little bit caught up as I went over the reservoir because we had the perfect reflection. The water was so calm and we had two sailboats out there. Not a very good day for sailing because there sure wasn't hitting much wind. Uh, but anyway, so I stopped and took some pictures and some panoramas. So I hope you enjoyed that. And then the, my whole point of this flight was to fly up Turner Gulch and we did that and we did uh, up the gulch that's kind of right next to it there. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. It, this was a lot of fun for me. Got to see some different territory. Again, uh, exploring with a drone is so much fun. And this Mini 4 Pro, it truly is a pro level drone. Uh, had a lot of fun with it. So anyway, uh, that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I so appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.